Well, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing? Little Model Works update. Missed yesterday. I was busy working on stuff. But we have uh, a lot of progress on the, on the bends. Uh, on the old Benz patent motor wagon. Uh, I got most of the chassis. Well, I, got, I mean, I got all the components ready to go. I've been working off this. I've been working off this picture. I've watched quite a few videos on uh, YouTube. There are there are a few of these around, believe it or not. I don't know if they're replicas or I guess there is. I saw one that was number one. Uh, that is still around and runs. I don't think this is it. Uh, but uh, I also found a couple that uh, the wood is different colors. See how, see how white this wood is? Well, I've seen a couple where the wood is much darker, almost like uh, mahogany or walnut, or but real dark. This is real white, so. But uh, yeah, so let me show you what I got done. Today, I think I'm gonna try to get this motor painted. That is this right here. I'm gonna try to work on this right here today, the motor. I got it all built, it's just gonna be a job of painting it. So this is what she looks like. There's our motor. Yeah, that was, that was fun putting together. Uh, I gotta say, these ICM kits are really cool on detail. Uh, really happy with how this is coming out, to be honest with you. So, uh, I, I'm gonna, uh, hang on a second, guys. I'm going to move this, because I don't really want to pick it up. It's kind of delicate, to be honest with you. Uh, get this stuff out of the way. We'll bring this over. As a matter of fact, let me put the motor into it. And then I'll show you this. It's pretty cool how this thing works. Come on, here we go. All right, so this is what I got so far, boys. This is what we're looking at so far. There's a gas tank that goes in. Uh, where is it? This gas, this gas tank goes in right, right where you see those two unpainted spots. Um, I know that, I believe that, I'm trying to remember what the hell they said these all were. Because one's, one's a radiator, this one, this one on top here is the radiator. I think this could be the carburetor. If I'm not mistaken, I think that that's the carburetor. Because there's a little knob. There's a little knob up front. See that little brass knob? Well, that's what they were turning to get it to run. And I believe that that's what that was, was the carburetor. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy how she's looking. Um, if I can get this built right, oh yeah, this. I just got done with the chair. I'm debating on whether to, to do those buttons brass. Um, I noticed that in the seat, in the picture, they're not. But I don't know. I might I might do it just to make them pop. We'll see. We'll see. Tell me what you think. Brass buttons or no brass buttons? Yeah, so it's a pretty cool little kit, to be honest with you. Uh, if I can build it right, that this big flywheel will uh, will still spin. You'll be able to, you'll be able to spin up this flywheel because that's how you start it. You spin. You get this on the cons, cons, uh, compression stroke. It's just like an airplane uh, when they when they pull the propeller. Same concept. So yeah, pretty pretty cool kit. Now. Uh, once I get this motor painted and the tank in and all the other stuff in, I think I'm going to leave them wheels for last. 
and I think that when I do the wheels, I might make a, a little video on, on while I do one of them. Because here's the jig. Here's the jig. Hang on. You know what? I think I'll... Hang on. I'm going to pull these out. So hang on, guys. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, here, here they are. Now you gotta cut out every every single one of these spokes has to be cut off of there. And then from what I understand, you take once you get that cut out, you put it in this jig. I tell you not to cut the uh not to cut the rim off of off of this uh sprue. Because you're using the sprue. See where see the the, the four rod knobs or whatever you want to call them. They fit into those holes. Um, so once you get that in there and you, I don't know if I'm gonna hold it down somehow or what. But then you you can see the where the uh, the spokes are gonna go. See where those little pins are. Yeah. So. <laughs> We gotta. I, I am. I'm gonna count to see how many there are. Uh, there are uh, spokes. There are. Um, I'm betting there's gotta be 30 there. We'll see. I'll count them up later. And then we, of course, I got the chain. The chain comes in three three pieces to to a side to give it some uh, give it some depth. So, but that's uh, that's where we are, fellas. On the uh, bends, uh, took a big hobby shop run Sunday. Went down, and got uh, actually she must have she must have just restocked all the Tamiya pants because she had every color I needed. I was I was shocked. Um, so uh, I can I can start uh, back on the uh, we can start back on the old Messerschmitt. So this is another. I got some mag. I need some magnets for it. Because I guess the uh, you can make the uh, cowlings come off. So I ordered some magnets. So we're going to do this upright. This is with the alley. The Allied Access Builder Alley. So. What else? Oh yeah, we got a new kit. I went down to the hobby shop. My uh, Meng. Uh, my Meng British Rolls Royce Armored Car came in. 135 scale. I am so looking forward to building this. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna get built just the way you see it on the box. Uh, 19, I forget what the hell year it was. British, it's a, the British way, uh, style. So, yeah, cool, cool kit. Got some PE in it. Uh, yeah, pretty cool kit. So, uh, you can, there's one of the ways you can do it. There's another one of the ways. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to building this. So, yeah, that's where we are, guys. So I'm just thought I'd show you the uh, thought I'd show you the old progress on the on the bends. I think I think it looks coming out pretty cool. Uh, I haven't deviated really much from the uh, painting uh, instructions, and this kit they're, they're missing a few things on this. Uh, to be honest with you, there's um, up front here. On the original, next to that little brass knob on on the on the other side of it, there's a there's a uh, like a starter button. There's supposed to be a little button there that you that they they pull out to get the electricity going. Um, you can see the see the wires back here. Uh, so I don't know if I want to. I, I'd have to drill a hole. I think I just put a pin in there. I'm not gonna wire it. Um, and then you got other things too. These are glass balls. There's a couple of glass balls on it that you know you can't. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to replicate that. As a matter of fact, you know, there it is right there. You know? So, what do I paint it clear? <laughs> so I think it's just gonna get painted brass. That gets painted copper. So yeah, uh, just like the uh the carburetor, that got uh copper body with the brass top. 
So, yeah, I had Mrs. Mack look at it twice just to make sure. Yeah, that's a brass top with a copper body and then the, the black strap that goes around it. So, but I think she's looking pretty good. I'm uh, I'm real happy how it's coming out so far. I was a little nervous. But uh I'm still gonna do this, still gonna do still gonna do those tires. So Alright fellas, I'll let you go. I've been a little long winded as Jeff. Where is Jeff? Oh there he is. All right, guys, I'll let you go. We'll uh, probably see you Friday, Constitutional, number 26. Hopefully we can get a couple of these spas on. That would be nice. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Peace out.